In this video, I'll go over how to use the shortcode in Video Background Pro. The shortcode is the backbone for the Video Background Pro plugin. Whether or not you realize it, every way to create a video background, whether it be a Metabox, WP Bakery integration, or Site Origin integration, all use the shortcode under the hood to initialize the video background. Before we add a shortcode, we need to know what container to use. If you don't have your container element yet, check out the Finding Your Container documentation. I'm going to be placing this video background in this gray section right here. I know that this element has an ID of masthead, so I'll use it as the container. Let's start by editing a page in WordPress. In WordPress 5.0, it's very easy to add a shortcode to the Gutenberg editor. First, we will click the plus icon to add a block. Then search for shortcode. The Video Background Pro shortcode is a self-closing shortcode with the text of vidbg. The first attribute we need in our shortcode is the container. This is the masthead ID that we talked about earlier. Next we want to add the type attribute. This attribute dictates what kind of video background we want. For all of the attributes and options, take a look at the parameters section of the Using the Shortcode documentation. For this demonstration, we'll create a Vimeo video background, so we'll set the type to Vimeo. Since we are using Vimeo, we must also include the Vimeo URL attribute. This is the link to the Vimeo video you want to use. Additionally, we'll add a fallback image. We can do this by specifying the poster attribute. That should be enough attributes for this demonstration. You can add as many attributes as you want from the parameters list, and you only have to include the parameters that you want to change. We'll go ahead and save this page and see if it went into effect. And there we go. As you can see, we have the video background playing in the container specified in the shortcode here. In this tutorial, we created a shortcode to be executed on a single WordPress page. In most cases, this is all you'll need, but sometimes you may need a video background on every page, in the header or footer for example. You can do this as well by calling the shortcode from a function. Check out the examples section in the documentation for more information.